everybody, this is Joe Workman, and today I am excited to show you the new Parallax stack. Now, we've been working on this stack for a while, and we've wanted to ship it for even longer because it's something that users really, really want. They want that parallax effect where the background is moving slower than the content, right? Just a really slick animation that really, when, do, when done right, um, it can really make your website pop, right? So without further ado, let's jump in and see exactly how easy it is to implement. Now, before we jump in and show you how to use the stack, I just want to review some of the features of this stack. So if we look at the demo site, we'll notice that as I scroll down this page, first let's concentrate on this banner image here. Notice that the background is actually going to be moving slower at a slower rate than the content scrolls. So as I scroll down the page, you'll see that the background image is actually scrolling slower than the content to give it kind of a layered moving effect. The next effect here we have is the apple. Now in this apple, uh, we'll notice that it's actually moving up and down, right? It's not fixed. It is scrolling, but it is scrolling at a different rate than the content. And finally, at the bottom, we have a similar to the banner where we have, um, it's just a, an image, right? There's no content within it. And that's another thing that you can notice is you can have content inside Parallax or you can have just the image. It's up to you. Now, if we look at the cover demo, we'll notice here that in this demo, Parallax is actually a cover image that covers the entire web page. And as I scroll down this page, we'll see that the actual background does scroll with the content, but just at a much slower rate. So we do get some movement in the background. Now in this final demo, we have a layered parallax. And this is kind of the holy grail of parallaxes because on this page, I have three different parallax stacks in the background. And you'll notice as I scroll down the page, we have the brown background, the dark green leaves, and these light green leaves and all of them are animating at different rates. So we really get a layered animation effect here. Now in this example, I just have a target stack with um, some content that's fixed to the center of the page. However, you can have content scrolling. I really wanted to showcase the layered parallax effect. So I didn't want to add too much content to this page to kind of you know give you a full effect of what the animation is doing. Now, before we move on, I wanted to make a note about how Parallax works on mobile and touch devices. For performance reasons, the Parallax effect is disabled on mobile devices. And what we'll get is the Parallax images that we define are then used as static background images instead. So we still have a nice, beautiful website on mobile, but we don't get that full Parallax effect. And the reason is it uses a lot of computational power to get that effect. So if we were to enable that on devices such as mobile, like an iPhone, you'd really get a lot of jittering and stuttering in the scroll and your website wouldn't really be smooth. And we don't want that. So instead we fall back to static background images for mobile devices. So here we are in the parallax demo file that ships with the parallax stack and you can download it anytime from our documentation portal as well. And this project file was, is the exact project file used to build that demo website that we just looked at. So if we look at this first parallax stack on the page, you'll notice that their settings are set up into three distinct groups. First, we have some setup. Uh, we have the setup for the desktop image and another one for the mobile image. Now there are three different types of parallax effects that you can use. The first is cover body, okay? And this allows you to, uh, as we saw in the demo, to have the parallax effect over the entire web page. Okay. The next is image only. Now this is the default where you have purely an image um, that will then do the parallax effect. Next is image plus content. And that's basically the image. And then you can overlay content on top of that. Now, when you use image only or image plus content, you'll notice that there is a minimum height a setting available, and that defines the actual minimum height of uh, the parallax area. Now, the bleed is a setting that um, is useful for as you're scrolling, sometimes the content can separate depending on how fast you're scrolling the site. 
Um, so basically the bleed will allow some of the content to bleed underneath the stacks below it. And finally, Z index. We'll be going over this um, a little bit later, but this is important when you're, especially when you're doing the layered um, parallax effects. Next, we can warehouse our images. So you can either, if you uncheck warehouse images, you can drag and drop your images into the settings, or you know, if you check it, you can define URLs to warehouse images. And finally, is the parallax speed. Basically, the higher this number, the faster the things are going to animate. Okay, the slower the speed, the closer it is going to be to the scrolling speed. So if you want more elaborate kind of in-your-face animations, you're going to want to make this value a lot higher. Okay, or if you want more subtle animations, uh, you're going to make this parallax speed lower. Next, the, the image settings are very um, obvious, right? You set your image, um, you define the URL if it is a, um, a warehoused image, or you can drag and drop if you're not using warehouse. Then we have alignment. So we have horizontal and vertical alignment. Most of the time you're gonna to wanna to use center center, but depending on your image and how your image is laid out, uh, you may wanna have left center or right center or right top or center top. And so play around with those settings to get the alignment that you'd like. Next is the opacity, and that's the opacity of the parallax image. So if you want maybe the background of the site to bleed through the image or something of that nature, uh, you can definitely set this opacity uh, level to something lower than 100, okay? And then we have the same exact options for mobile. Now, if you don't define mobile images, um, it is actually gonna use the desktop image. Now, however, uh, it will still use the centering and alignment and opacities for mobile. Okay, so now let's look at this layer demo, right? I call this the holy grail of parallax effects because it really gets some really great animations going. Uh, very interesting. So you'll notice here is that I have three parallax stacks on the page. Now, when you set the parallax stack to be cover body, there it doesn't show anything, right? But what it does is it shows that particular image um, inside the as the background if you have preview background turned on. Now, because we have three, you're not gonna see all three images in uh, edit mode because basically the third one will overwrite and show the background, but we'll see them once we are inside preview. If we look at the first instance of the parallax stack here on the page, we'll notice that I've added that brown background image and then I set the parallax speed to be 10% because I want the background to actually be a lot slower than the foreground elements. The next instance we have here is I've added those dark green leaves, okay? And then I set the parallax speed to be 37%, so it's a lot faster than that background, that brown background. And then finally, uh, for the large green leaves, I've added my background image here, and I set the parallax speed to be 69%. Now, another thing you're gonna to wanna to make sure is that we properly set our Z indexes. If we notice on the very first one, I have my Z index set to zero, uh, and that's for that brown background. Then the second layer, I have it set that to Z index of one. And then the third background, the one that goes on the very top, has a Z index of two. So the higher the Z index, the higher up the stack that image will be. So you can define the actual layers and their order by using the Z index property. And as you see, this provides a beautifully layered parallax effect. Now this effect really requires that you do a lot of planning and work with your images. As we notice here, we have a simple brown background that is solid, okay? Then we have these dark green leaves, which is a basically a PNG where the rest of the image is transparent except for the leaves, right? And the same thing for these larger green leaves. It is a PNG, it is transparent except for where the green leaves are, right? So if you wanna do this lay layered parallax effect, you're really gonna have to, um, you know, imagine what you want and you're gonna have to do some graphics work on your own, right? Um, the stack isn't going to create these graphics for you. You're going to have to do proper planning and you're going to have to create these graphics to get the effect that you want. So there you have it. You can see how easy it is to implement this parallax stack. I think that we really nailed the simplicity of implementing such a complex animation. 
Now, there are some caveats, right? And I talked about a few of them already. Um, number one, I'm not sure I mentioned, is that inside preview of Rapid Weaver, you might notice that the animations are a little jittery, okay? If you were to preview inside a browser like Chrome or Safari or Firefox, you notice that those animations are a lot smoother, right? Um, not quite sure why Rapid Weaver, the animations aren't really right, but it's a lot smoother when you publish your site and when you preview it even locally inside a browser. So uh, that's one thing. The second thing is I want to make sure that you don't really overdo this animation in your websites, right? I mean, this is a really great thing um, and the animation is, is powerful and I've seen parallax effects just gone crazy, right? So I think sometimes, especially with stuff like this, is that less can a lot, a lot of times be a lot more, right? So the, maybe the less or the more subtle animations were really adds the small details to your site that make the user go, oh wow, that's really great. Did you just see that background move, right? But if you have a site that's like moving all over the place and kind of gives a person a headache whenever they're, they're trying to, you know, read something, right? it might be a little much. So per, just have a precaution. And while the stack is great, um, try not to use it too terribly much in terms of you know stacking them too much and making things too crazy, okay? And lastly, um, while the stack provides some great animations for your images, it doesn't do the image work for you, right? We saw in that layered animation. Now you can see the images, they're, they're actually baked in the demo project. So you can you know copy them out and see how they're done, right? Um, you're gonna have to plan, right? You're gonna have to plan what images are gonna work properly, especially if you want that layered effect, right? Because you're gonna wanna have some things transparent on top of other things. You're gonna have to plan the Z index and how they kind of you know go on top of each other. So there is some planning that you're gonna to have to do if you wanna use some more, some more of the advanced features of the stack. Now, if you just want you know, a simple, you know, maybe a sunset image or you know, a picture, picture of your office or something like that, throw it in there in image only mode, you know, that's pretty much drag and drop, um, not too much planning going on. Um, but for some of the more advanced layouts, you're definitely gonna to have to plan. So just a precaution, something to think about. Uh, I hope you enjoy this stack. I hope that you use it uh, to your best abilities to make fabulous websites. I know you can, and I can't wait to see what you build with it. So thank you very much, everybody. Have a great day. Enjoy Parallax, and bye. Oh, wait, okay, before I say goodbye, I made a promise to somebody. I promised there'd be a hat in this video. I promised the next video I did, I'd wear a hat. So before I go, everybody, here's a cool hat. Have a great day. Happy weaving. Go forth and make your websites great. Mm -hmm.